in today's lecture I will be talking on or about B cell and T cell interaction and as you know that B and T cells they originate from hematopoietic stem cell in the bone marrow where B lymphocytes mature there while T lymphocytes migrate to the thymus gland for development of the repertoire, maturation, and education. B cells, following their maturation in the bone marrow, they patrol the body and they enter secondary lymphoid organs, spleen, and lymph node where they concentrate in the B cell follicles within the cortex of the secondary lymphoid organ. And here, this is, for example, a lymph node. This is the cortex as shown in blue. And these are the B cell follicles. These basic B cell follicles or B cell B, B cells concentrate here in these B cell follicles. And antigens are trapped by follicular dendritic cells. These shown in in red. These cells are within the B cell uh, follicles. They are known as follicular dendritic cells and they trap uh, antigens by means of uh, receptors CR1, CR2, and FC gamma R2B. Then B cells acquire these antigens and they present it to uh, CD4. This actually, it takes place as a line of demarcation between the cortex and the, this is the cortex, it is the B cell area, the B cells concentrate here, and the paracortex where T cells concentrate in the paracortical area and as a line of demarcation between the blue and red B cell as you know it is an uh, antigen presenting cell so they have it has the capacity to process the antigen and it presented it presents this antigen in association with the major histocompatibility class 2 to uh, CD4 cells. So now CD4 through its T cell receptor interact with the antigen. And this actually uh, initiates the very signal for activation of a B cell. Accordingly, or according to this interaction between TCR, antigen, and major histocompatibility, T lymphocytes upregulate CD40 ligand. And this CD40 ligand interacts with the CD40 on the surface of the B cell. And this will lead to expression of uh, a molecule known as B, B7, as B7. And this B7 interact with a molecule uh, or cluster of differentiation number 28 on the surface of uh, T lymphocytes. And this will give signal to the nucleus for uh, upregulation of cytokine receptors and cytokines. Some cytokines are produced according to this 
uh, interaction. For example, CD4, well, for example, interleukin number four, this uh, cytokine is uh, B cell growth uh, factor. And also this uh, interaction is uh, potentiated by uh, ICOS inducible co-stimulatory molecules on the surface of T cell, which interact with induce inducible uh, co-stimulatory uh, ligand on the surface of B cells. And the interaction between these ligands, they give the second uh, signal. And the third signal, it is uh, given by the cytokines. So activated B cells, the interstructure known as terminal center, where B lymphocytes, undergo very tense proliferation and this area of proliferation where, where the, the proliferation of B cell is uh, tense it is known as dark zone of the germinal center and at this zone of the germinal center usually these B cells undergo clonal expansion and uh, somatic hypermutation. Somatic hypermutation, it is a hypermutation at the level of uh, somatic uh, cell and it aimed at uh, achieving higher affinity of the immuno uh, globulins and uh, this result in uh, maximum fitness of uh, immunoglobulins and B cells uh, can fit uh, well to the uh, antigen so this process will result in high affinity or will result in formation of antibodies with high affinities for uh, antigens and will differentiate into plasma cells and memory B cells. So, these cells leave this area, which we call it dark zone, and go back to uh, another area within the germinal center known as uh, light zone, where they interact with dendritic cells and they receive an anti uh, signals. Failure of a process or, or failure of some B cells to develop high uh, affinity may result in their death by apoptosis. So, this actually now the plasma cell, these are of short. Uh, life and they leave the secondary lymphoid organs to or they leave the secondary lymphoid organ to the primary lymphoid organ I mean they leave the uh, spleen and the lymph node for the bone marrow where where they become uh, long life uh, plasma cells and produce uh, antibodies uh, with high uh, affinity. Actually, this lymph node it has several 
afferent lymphatics and it has single efferent lymphatics and uh, this is uh, medulla and uh, the area in blue is the cortical area the area in red this cortical area we call it uh, B cell area and the area in red we call it T cell rich area or paracortical area uh, naive B cells and naive T cells from bone marrow they enter to secondary uh, lymphoid organs through what is so called uh, high endothelial uh, venules thank you very much professor ahmed bolad